there. First off, just apologies for sitting by the interior lights of the car because we're um, out in the evening, as you can probably tell. We've come to the Christmas light switch on at Middleport Pottery. We haven't been to Middleport Pottery since last year when we came for the poppy exhibition, the weeping window exhibition with the poppies. We've come this evening for their Christmas light switch on and they've got one or two other bits and pieces going on as well. Now we have to remember that this is a Victorian pottery, it's 130 years old so we've got a cobblestone courtyard so George is going to have a bit of a a bumpy ride this evening but I'm sure you'll enjoy it because you like your cobbles don't you cobbles 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 yes so we shall see you inside right we're inside and we've got stuck with the wheelchair on the cobbles but we've got through now because this is a bit easier because it's brick can hear the sound of the band in the background. The sign said mulled wine this way. Sounds good to me. I don't know about you, John. Sounds very good to me. Yeah. The Christmas tradition. John. Yes. We've got, we had a choice of mulled wine or spiced warm apple juice. So we've gone for the spiced warm apple juice. What's the verdict? Let's uh, have a sip and find out. Oh my gosh, that's really, really good. And they're quite the salespeople as well because they said, do you want a mince pie for an extra pound? Well, how could I say no? <laughs> to all of you folks in the state, this is quite the Don West. Yeah, so they're on George's lap at the moment while we're drinking our... <coughs> hot spicy apple juice which is delicious that's us 45 by warm spicy apple juice and a mince pie we're going to carry on a bit now down this way so we'll go through that way where the stars are hanging to be careful, Joan, because it's a bit uneven. I do remember this area. Last time we were here, there was all poppies down here, wasn't there? Around here we've got the band about to see them and standing in front of the canal and if we can see it it's got a Christmas tree in front of the bottle bank I don't think we can see the bottle bank though in this light oh there we go you can see the bottle bank now and the Christmas tree looks totally different than it did when the puppies were here George is braving the gravel to go to the bottle oven. Think you're going to find it a little bit tight round here. Go to your left if you want to give it a go. We couldn't go and look at the bottle oven because it wasn't quite wide enough for the chair. But then again, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have thought about things like chairs 130 years ago, would they? Not no. Okay, we're upstairs and we have another band here that I believe are about to play for us. We eventually got out of the crush that was upstairs and we're coming around this way now. It's a tree. With different pottery ornaments on it. That's quite cute. We just sort of stood 
in one of the courtyards at the moment that's quite empty. We can't get near the one where the lights have been switched on. We can't move for people, so I can't see anything. Obviously, John can't see anything. And, I think if and, you were close, I couldn't see anything. Well, no, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but the point I'm making is I couldn't see anything, and George certainly couldn't down there, and he's chair where are you George here there you go he, he couldn't see anything so to be perfectly honest right now we are less than impressed so that's better you can see me now <laughs> I'll learn to operate this camera properly one day so as I was saying we're kind of less than impressed now. We preferred the one at Gladstone last year that we went to. That was much better and there wasn't a lot of time standing about and having to battle through lots of crowds. There was lots of people there, wasn't there? But we weren't battling through crowds. We were not, no. And I think quite a few people are leaving early because you can't see anything and you can't get there. So, it's a bit of a disappointment really. We shall see what, ha what it looks like when the lights are switched on and then I think we'll be making a quick escape if we can. There we go. The lights are on. What number are we on? I'll count down in my no, mind. No, they've just counted down, John. You missed it. So, we've got the lights on now. So, it looks very, very Christmassy. So, that's nice. Right, here we are again. I'm wearing my wonderful hat. I don't take it off because um, there's a serious risk of hat hair underneath this, so I'm keeping the hat on. I think overall, we enjoyed the spiced apple juice, didn't we? The warm spiced apple juice. Yes? We did, yes. Yes. <clears throat> um, it was nice to spend the evening together. It was nice to spend the evening together. It was. It's nice to see the Victorian style. That's quite nice. And the lights look pretty good as well. They weren't too over the top considering the age of the buildings. However, overall, I found it quite disappointing. I don't know about you. George had asked a very interesting question. What's that? George had asked that, well, first off, a bit of backstory. Uh, we had heard someone say that they didn't think that all the people who bought tickets are going to show up. And George had asked, if you pay for something, why wouldn't you show up for it? Exactly. The, the crowds were pretty horrendous. And George got stuck a few times on the cobbles, which didn't spoil things for us because we knew there was going to be cobbles we know the age of the pottery we, you know you know it's victorian but it was a real struggle with the crowds who couldn't see anything i couldn't see anything as i said earlier and i'm quite tall and obviously george couldn't see anything in his chair and, and there was a lot of downtime. If you wanted to go and look at something, you had to battle through crowds. And we did make the attempt, but it was just really, really hard work. And I think overall, it, it was quite disappointing from that respect. I think that they had a really good idea. I just think that perhaps they underestimated a bit, that's all. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice attempt, and it's something that maybe they can plan for a bit better next year. But this time, I think they just underestimated. I don't think I'd be so keen to come next year, to be perfectly honest. Well, others will, and we can read their reviews and try again well, the year afterwards. Possibly, maybe. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> even though we didn't really enjoy the evening completely. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you don't already, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Hopefully, minus the hat. Bye.